up guys welcome back to my channel so we are at Kissimmee Bay Country Club I am with Tim from Tacoma we're gonna be doing a 12 hole match the first six on my channel second six on Tacoma's channel but yeah we are doing stroke play which is way harder than match play I just stumbled out of my car like I showed up at 9 45 our tea time is at 9 44 I'm just in cahoots right now if that is even a word so this should be interesting, so let's get right into it. Okay, guys, first hole, par five, dog leg left. There's so many trees on this course, so you really have to place your shots carefully. Nice. I will take that all day. All right, guys, so I am like so late to this round here because my GPS took me to the airport. So like I'm starting off already a little bit distraught, so. And Tim told me he wants to do stroke play, so we are doing a six hole stroke play, so I really need to get my my shit together. And it is very windy right now. Okay. That's, that's perfect. I mean, that's right down the middle. Oh my god. It's like a hurricane. Okay, guys, I'm going to hit a 19 degree. I'm honestly surprised. Like, I kind of dropped kicked the drive, but um, it ended up being okay. So, no, I, I didn't even know this was a par five. So, I'm just going to hit my 19 degree up there, taking advice from Tim, which I don't know if that's the best idea. Oh, my gosh. That was so good. Maybe you, maybe you should just keep showing up. Like so literally, after the like, if time. I hit any practice balls, I'm already off to a disadvantage. Like, for my game. Like, if I show up like this, I play way better for some reason. Okay, what are we doing? Uh, well, I'm just underneath a tree and there's trees in front of me. So I'm just going to try to go over these trees, uh, get up to the fairway, maybe catch up to Sabrina. Get over. It got over. Nice, Tim. Maybe I played bad in tournaments because I was too prepared. Literally would wake up, mark every ball, make sure my bag was so organized, get there an hour and a half early, warm up. Yeah, don't prepare. That's, Maybe if I just showed up to tournaments, like literally stumbled out of bed, hair in a messy ponytail, just be like, hello, I'm here. And that would just be better. Good. Now I say all that, now it's like I can't hit a bad shot because then everything I say just like goes out the window. No, it's funny. You just said how much it's better that you don't practice and warm up. So <laughs> now you got a hundred yards in, a uh, wind off the right. This is, this is the real test to see if what I say is a valid statement. I'm just not gonna talk anymore. Like that's it. Like I've been really struggling with the irons. <laughs> I've really been struggling. <laughs> just keep. I'm just gonna keep running the film. Just keep filming. Uh, Sabrina has promised to not talk anymore for the rest of this. Uh, leave a comment if you think that's gonna happen. <laughs> Oh, a little bit over. We're long. I hit that. I thought it was going to be close. Stop! I mean, she's going to hate it, but not bad from there. Let's see how annoyed she is at that pitch shot. Uh, you know, it's hard to tell. Okay, here's Tim's chip for birdie. What the heck? Oh, actually, it's not that bad. It's just like two feet further that way than I meant. The lawnmower in the back was so loud, but this is my putt for par and not in. Not, not happy about it. But Tim also has a putt for par, so this would make him go one up if he makes it. Wow! <laughs> we got a par. Leave me alone. <laughs> well, well, well. It is just all fun and games until you make a bogey. Like, I was literally coming out here like, yeah, I do not need to warm up. LOL, perfect drive, good hybrid. And then it just, everything I said, just scratch it after I chunked my pitching wedge and made a bogey. Like, that is just so annoying. <laughs> I mean, 
you know. There's really just nothing to say to recover from that. No. Maybe I should potentially take a sip of water because I've only help. had like a venti iced coffee just pumping through the veins with a double shot of espresso. <laughs> Second hole, par four, pretty straight away, a little bit of a dog leg right towards the end of the hole, but I'm one down. I need to get focused. Where's that? We're in a tree. That way. That's you may have just caught a tree. It's okay over there. There's a lot of room, so I think it caught a tree and just dropped. So you should be fine, but we'll see. Yeah, Neither one of us with a good tee shot here. Yeah, so uh I'm gonna just tone it down a notch. Definitely came out here like a uh, like a maniac. Oh uh, yeah, there was a vibe, you know, when you showed yeah. up. Well, so. the thing is, is because I was driving here and they took me to the airport. I went through the departure, the arrivals, the rental car section, and I was just losing my shit. I called Tim and I was like, did they also bring you through the airport? I don't know, that just got my day off to a uh, interesting start. I don't want to drive through the airport if I do not need to be driving through the airport. I want to take a drop. Really? Yeah. Oh, I'm like, yeah. I know, you're excited about it. I mean, I don't know, like maybe do you have to go hit a provisional if it's out of bounds? <laughs> well, we can if you want to pay some play, right? No, I'll allow you to drop. Do you want to do a provisional or you want to just play it as a No, you can do a hazard drop. You can just do a hazard drop. Tim has 220 for his third shot. That was just maybe the worst drive I've hit in a long time. The driver had been feeling so good before that. Oh no. <laughs> it's actually not that bad. For, oh yeah, it's stroke play though. Yeah, I know, I know. So that's so what ran through my mind there is, if I hit this long and it's gone, it's stroke play, I'm really in trouble. Because if it's match play, you go for it, you miss it, no worries. Where's my ring finder pin? I don't know, I, I haven't used it, so. Last time we had it was yesterday at the swag event. Okay, I found it. Oh, look at that. Okay. I feel like you would be someone who would benefit from breathing exercises. Yeah. 90 yards. Are we playing ground under repair? <laughs> it's your channel. How would you like to play this? Wait a minute. No, no, no. You were cheering because I hit it out of bounds. <laughs> we're not playing ground under. No chance. It's just in the mud. No, 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 no. That is oh, ground no. under repair. This got personal. It's not ground under repair. It's just mud. <laughs> it rained. Like, that's all this is. Okay. Ground under repair. Come on now. <laughs> Sabrina, how are, how are the mentals? It's just... Whatever. I'm just not going to get too eccentric here. It is what it is, but like, I, I just feel lost over the iron shots. I'm okay, over. So this is my, uh, so one and two out three. So this is my fourth shot, right? Trying to get up and down for bogey here. Wow. Wow. Well, okay then. Now the pressure is on Sabrina. Okay, Tim, just take it away, please. That's good. Tim is in for bogey. All right, Sabrina has given me that putt for bogey. So basically she needs to get up and down for a par, which would tie up the match after the second. Oh, that's a great shot. Yeah. That's literally the exact same putt you just gave me. No, but I want to put it in just for my confidence. Actually, it's not that much of a tap. No, it's a little closer, a little, little more Wait, than a tap. No, that's what I'm saying. I would give that to you because you just gave me the last one. But you said you want to tap it in for your confidence, so. Okay, I'll take it. And then you're going to put it anyway. And then I'm going to put it anyway. That's fine. So All right, so the match it. is tied up here after the second. But for no, Sabrina. No, actually, because if I miss it then. No, it's fine. Just Well, it's up to you. This is totally up to you. You do not have to hit this putt. Okay. Right. <laughs> Sabrina, are you an emotional golfer? Oh, <laughs> that is literally. What are you talking about? I am the emotional golfer. That is crazy. I would never have guessed. Really? <laughs> <laughs> 
Okay, the match is back to even. I don't think I've ever seen a hole this tight before. Okay, that sounded weird. But anyways, third hole. This is actually such a pretty tee shot. Oh wow, that just didn't catch the tree. I think it caught another tree up there on the left. I feel like this is the only place I can tee up because there's this tree here. Mm-hmm. So I'm gonna go at it like this angle here. Yeah, that was, was perfect. It's pretty low though, but it's, it's gonna run. Yeah, I'm just praying I'm not behind a tree. So I'm praying that you are. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, 161 is the flag. Um, wow, I'm at a loss. I think I'm just gonna hit a full five. But I, this is really gonna be the test here. Like, I need to hit a pure iron shot. I know I have it in me. I've done it before. <laughs> Just, uh, just wait on it a little more. A little let let your weight get forward. You want to move it off the off the water? Is this a casual water? Yeah, I think I'm gonna call it casual water. That's fine. It's a friendly stroke play match, so. Go, go, please. You hit that really well. Oh. It's on. That's a great shot. Is that I think it, over? That was really good, but is it over a little? It is. It, it rolled off the back. So. so if you don't have a towel, it is use your leg. Yeah, I mean, absolutely. Just, that's what you do. <laughs> and I do have a towel, though. I have a Tacoma towel. If this was match play, maybe I'd try to hit like a crazy hook shot through the trees, but nope. Okay, dog, please. We're doing a YouTube video. Stop barking. Wow, that was good, Tim. That was sick. Stop rolling. Stop rolling. What? Hey, right. Tim, how far do you got? Uh, 75 yards. Really got to get up and down here. I feel like that's been the story of the last couple holes. Wow, good. Good shot. All right. We have a putt. I don't know if I'm on the green or over. Hopefully I'm on. Oh, I'm, I'm on, kind of. It's on the back fringe here. Go in. Ah! That, that was actually really good though. That was such a good putt. Thank you. Okay, so par. you got your par, now I gotta see if I can get mine. <laughs> okay, so I'm in for par. We are now even. So it's him three putts and I'm gonna be two. <laughs> the bounce at the start. Oh my gosh, okay. That's fine. That's, One up me. Uh, <laughs> not good. Oh, so we already, so you got a par there, I got a bogey. So basically, I think I have three straight fives. Yeah. And you have a six, a four, and a four. So, I need to fix that. Would you guys rather have bogeys, but also a lot of birdies, or just be making pars. Like, would you rather have three bogeys and three birdies or just six pars? I would rather have the birdies. Yeah. I think just because it's more fun, right? Like, making yeah. a birdie to me is worth more than making up lunch of pars. Uh -huh. Okay, so I'm one up going into the fourth hole. Tough little hole here. It's short, but it's a dog leg right. You have to carry water and there's a lot of wind in our face. Where'd that go? Oh, that's a pretty good shot, Tim. Nice. Yeah, I'm just gonna hit a driver. Ow. Okay, driver. There's so much wind, so I'm gonna tee it up a little lower and just not try to kill it. I just put lotion on my legs and now my hands so slippery. Don't throw the driver here. I know. I know. That works. It's perfect. 107. I think I'm gonna hit a punch nine. That's what's gonna happen right now. So I hit a good iron shot on the last hole, which like already gives me like a little more confidence than I started off with. So yeah, it's 107 into the wind. I'm just gonna try to hit like a compressed nine iron. So let's see what I do. Wait, 
go. Please go. Please go. No. Is that okay? It's not in the bunker, but it's it's gonna be like run off the front of the green on the right. So you know, I just you know, there's so much wind. If you guys can't tell. Yeah, it's uh, a ton ready? of wind. <laughs> but there's actually. I'm just gonna hit like a, a low punch 52. Oh wow, that was a cool ball flight. Nice, Tim. That looks good from back here. I don't know what it is, but I feel like every golf course I film at is right next to an airport. Like every time, like there's just like a hundred planes flying by. Which I don't know if it affects the audio, but if you hear a bunch of planes. It's Sorry right about that. <laughs> yes. Okay, I have a decent idea, I think. Oh no. You know, the wind can really affect a putt oh, yeah. more than you would think. Like, I really think the wind stopped my ball. <laughs> oh, wow. We're both going to have some long shots. Wow. We're back to even? Yep. Tied oh. up. Great. Nice. This is exactly what I wanted. I wanted to three putt and go back to even with Tim. But anyways, par four here, fifth hole, little dog leg right. A lot of dog legs out here. Oh no, oh no, oh no. Where's that? First of all, it was off this part of the driver. Uh, and then it's right. Um, might be findable, I don't know. Is the driver too much here? I think driver will leave you short of those trees. Yeah. So I'm coming off of a horrendous bogey. So yeah. yeah, for all of you regular golfers out there who hit get bogeys on a regular basis, um, Sabrina thinks they're horrendous. So just know that. Tim and I are both going to be able to find our balls. <laughs> well, he's now one up, right? No, we're back to even. We're back to even on the match, I believe. Yeah, because you were one up going into that last hole, and that tied it up. So we're even going to the last one in your channel. I really gave it away there, Tim. I mean, again, it's a bogey. Like, it's not like you tripled something i know but it just like bothers me I, you know i'm not that mad about it like i'm actually pretty chill today but like it's just annoying that uh a three putt bogey is just never a good time like if no. i hit it in the trees or go ob and make a bogey it's like okay like that's a pretty good bogey but when you three putt like it's just kind of a disgusting bogey where's my ball oh it's there uh, i got incredibly lucky and somehow snuck around that bunker and it's right over there so 79 yards i think i'm just gonna try to hit it like a pretty uh Good 56, I guess. Literally just five. But it's a front pin, so I'm not gonna have that bad of, of a putt. Gotta go up with this. Okay. Probably shouldn't. We're gonna do it anyway. Okay, nice. That was pretty good. Yeah, that was cool. Kind of worked. Nice, nice. This would be nice to me. Here I go. Ugh. That was a good punt. I mean, that's good as far as I'm concerned. You're not going to miss that. Okay, in for par. Go. Go. Nice. Oh, wow. And we're tied. Okay guys, so we're on the last hole, part three, and right now we are even, but remember we still have the next six holes to go into Como's channel, so whatever happens... Yeah, Tim has 230, that's pretty far, but yeah, whatever happens on this hole, just know that there's six more holes for me to absolutely destroy Tim, so yeah. Always <laughs> possible. Okay, last hole on my channel, part three, straight away, but it's pretty long. Good thing it's downwind. Let's see what happens. 
230 yards. Long uh, haul. It's just going to be a really big four and it's downwind. I'm going to try to hit this way up in the air uh, so that hopefully it stops. All right. That's not even That's actually not bad at all. Oh my what? gosh. Oh, that went over. Well, damn, you went over. It's 164 downwind. I don't know if I should hit a full six or a five. Cause it is, it's super downwind. Is that like a, is that a back pin? I can't really tell. Um, it looks more like it's in the middle. So I don't know. I don't know. I, I think I'll just hit a six. I'm going to hit a six. It's all over it. That was good. It's long. I hit a six and it went a little long. That was such a good ball. That was such good contact though. Oh no, Tim. All right. Okay, so Tim's ball marker's in my way, but I already asked him to move it, so I'm just not gonna ask again. But um, yeah, so this is my puff for birdie. So yeah, let's see what happens. What? <laughs> I mean, I'll move it again. Wait. Uh, I'll move it again. That's like right in line with your shot. I know, but you I had already, me. You had me move it that way. I already asked you to move it. No, I don't. I don't care. I'll move the ball marker. Then move it again. Then. <laughs> We're gonna go here. That's where it started. No, yeah, move it again. I'll move it one more this way. Oh, now you tell me to read. Oh my God! See, I should not have taken your read. Well, again, I didn't. I knew that it was breaking this way. You messed me up with your ball marker move. What are you talking about? You moved it in the way that it was not breaking. Well, no, because you said, I don't want to ask him to move it again. And so I said, I will move it again. Yeah, but you moved it. I was going to go right over your line. You messed me up. Yeah, you were going to go over where my ball marker was. So I moved it out of there. <laughs> and then now okay. where I moved it is where you should have gone. I'm going to laugh it off, but I'm actually extremely mad at you. So don't talk to me anymore. <laughs> <laughs> Tim, my three putt again, like I'm just leaving. Uh, just kidding. <laughs> I'm going to be here for the rest of the day. That broke different for you. See? So my line wasn't wrong. There's just no line. Like this is a putt with no line. <laughs> it is just depends on what the line wants to do in that moment I guess of time. Still out, though. And we are off onto the second hole. And now uh, <laughs> to putt Tim Urban. Yeah, keep talking during your putt. Yeah. <laughs> no, oh, that's so annoying. I'm sorry, Tim. Okay, so this would be to take a one-up lead into the back six. Okay. This was, it was just never going in. <laughs> I'm so annoyed. No, I need to definitely do some putting practice when I get home. All right, guys, so the putter is just so off for me right now, and it's been off for a while, so I know what I need to work on, but anyways, we're going to continue on this match on the Tacoma channel, so go check that out. I'm probably just going to be furious the whole time. Not really, though, but... Yeah, she might you, be. What? She might be. Yeah, but if you enjoyed this, make sure to like and subscribe, and also subscribe to them after you watch their video, so see you in Tim's video, in the Tacoma video. Adios. Peace.